Yo, what's up guys, it's Vakosi, the Chief Justice of Fontaine, Novelette has finally decided to leave all the bureaucratic stuff behind in order to join the Traveler on his adventures. Being one of the few Hydro main DPS characters in the game, Novelette joins the upper echelon of characters like Yelan and Ayato. You might have already heard that he is quite the powerhouse and in my opinion he does not disappoint. As such, I am here with a guide in order to take a look at his talents, his constellations, artifacts and so on. So if you haven't pulled him yet and aren't sure if you should, then hopefully this guide will answer your questions. Starting with his talents, Novelette's abilities are fairly straightforward. His normal attack is basically all about his charge attack. While using his charge attack, he charges up. As the name suggests. Once he is fully charged, he will release a gigantic beam of water. You might have already seen some of these Son Goku Kamehameha memes and yeah, they are, they are not memes, just look at it, it's glorious. But there are still a few other things worth mentioning when it comes to his charge attack. The charging process itself is fairly slow, but you can speed it up by collecting source water droplets. What are those droplets? Well, very simple, you create them by using his elemental skill as well as his elemental burst. On top of that, there's one more thing I should mention. While using his fully charged version, Novilet will consume his own HP while he is above 50%, so keep that in mind when using him. Lastly, when it comes to the numbers, you can see that the charge attack scales off max HP, so HP is the stat we want. His elemental skill and burst do the same, so building him is fairly simple. Moving on, we have his elemental skill. His elemental skill is your primary way of enabling his charge attack. It is called O Tears I Shall Repay and whenever you use it, it creates three source water droplets and it does some moderate hydro damage as well. It also has a whole Archipenuma aspect to it, so if you're fighting some of the newer enemies then keep that in mind. It is basically a way to deactivate some of the noteworthy opponents in Fontaine. Next we have O Tides I Have Returned, his elemental burst. And just like his elemental skill, it will also form source water droplets. But unlike his elemental skill, it will form six of them, not three. So you can see that both his elemental skill as well as his elemental burst are all about enabling you to use your charge attack. Of course, just like any other character, we also have two passives to talk about. The first one increases your charge attack damage. Whenever you create a reaction, so reactions like Vaporize, Frozen, Electrocharge and so on, you gain one stack of past Draconic Glories for 30 seconds. You can have three of those stacks and they increase the damage you do all the way up to 160%. As such, having a lot of characters to trigger different reactions is quite useful when it comes to Novelette. Next up we have a second passive. This one is fairly simple. For every percent of HP you have that is greater than 30%, you do 0.6% more Hydro damage, up to 30% bonus damage. That means you need 80% HP in order to fully utilize this effect. So yeah, those are his talents. He is a fairly simple character when it comes to a gameplay loop. You use his elemental skill and elemental burst in order to generate droplets and you use his charge attack in order to consume them. One thing to keep in mind here is that you only need three droplets in order to fully charge his charge attack. So his elemental burst basically gives you two fully charged attacks. Taking a look at his constellations, constellation 1 is quite impactful. First of all, it gives him one stack of his passive talent, the one where you do more charge attack damage. Secondly, you gain increased resistance to being interrupted while using a charge attack. So that constellation itself does have some impact because without it, he suffers from the same syndrome that any other charge attack character suffers from, being interrupted. Constellation 2 once again makes his passive better. Whenever you have a stack of Draconic Glories, you now also gain 14% increased crit damage. So 42% in total because you can have up to 3 stacks. Constellation 3 and 5 are the same as always, so let us move on to Constellation 4. This one gives him a third way of regenerating droplets. Whenever you get healed, Novelette generates one droplet. You can do that every 4 seconds. So this one fixes a few downtime problems he might have otherwise. And finally Constellation 6. This one in a basic nutshell prolongs your charge attack by consuming more droplets and it also adds more damage on top of it. As usual Constellation 6 is broken just like with any other character and I can't even begin to imagine how much of a beast he is if you have this constellation. Before we get into artifacts, let me bring up a few points that might make him easier to play. First of all, when it comes to his passive stacks, there are indicators that show you how many stacks you have. 
So whenever you trigger a reaction, you have the small circle appear above his head. There can be up to three rings indicating how many stacks you have. Secondly, once fully charged, or once you have all three stacks, he begins to glow. That allows you to see if you have all the stacks of Draconic Glories. Also, there's one thing I quickly want to touch upon, but not too much, because I think it's unintentional. And that is the whole spin to win thing. You might have already seen it. If not, then check out I Win to Lose Guide for Novelette, because he goes into more detail when it comes to that. Moving forward, we have his artifacts. And one of the best sets you can use on Novelette is the Mao Chaussee Hunter set. Novelette is all about using charge attacks and increasing charge attack damage makes a lot of sense, right? On top of that, you also get crit rate from the set, up to 36% in total. And doing some quick math, 100 minus 36 is 64, correct? So once you have 64% crit rate, you are Ultra Gucci. Either way, not everyone might have that set yet because it is still fairly new. So what else can you use? Well, we can always fall back on our regular options. For example, Heart of Depths is always a really good one. It gives you Hydro damage and Charge Attack damage. Another option is the Volkasha and Tenacity set. In this case we use the two set bonuses. If you remember, his attacks scale off HP, so having more HP is always useful. Another set you can use is the Wanderer's Trope set, though keep in mind that one is more of a set you use while preparing for the Mario Chaussee set. Now let us talk about substats. The most common substat people talk about is energy recharge. In the case of a novelette, I will make it as simple as possible. You don't really need it. If you have around 115%, you are completely fine. Anything beyond that is not really needed. Let's quickly take a look at the other stats. It is fairly simple. You want to have HP, crit rate and crit damage. Your timepiece should have HP on it. Your goblet should have hydro damage on it and your circlet should have either crit rate or crit damage on it. Or you can also use HP, but in that case you will need really good substats. Of course, just like with any other character, this is kind of difficult to predict. While the basic artifacts are fairly simple, like I said, the timepiece should have HP, the goblet should have hydro damage, your circlet will be different. If you're using the Mao Chaussee set, you are already getting a lot of crit rate from that. So it would be better to use crit damage on your circlet. But as always, it depends on what you have. Just go with the flow, see how it performs and if you like it. Getting into his weapons, I have to say first that it is fairly difficult to talk about good weapons. The reasoning behind it is that most of the weapons in the game have attack on it or energy recharge, and we want neither of those. As such, I will talk about weapons in a descending order and you take whatever you have. First up, we have a signature weapon, Tome of the Eternal Flow. It is broken, if you have it, use it. As simple as that. After that, we have, unironically, the Battle Pass weapon, the new one. I don't have it myself, so let us quickly take a look at it via using the Battle Pass. It is called the Sacrificial Jade and you can get it again and again. So unlocking Refinement 5 is only a question of time. If you decide to go down that route, then you will end up with a weapon that is almost as good as the signature weapon. After those two, we kinda go into stat sticks. The problem here is that most of the weapons, like I said, don't have HP on it. But there are still a few weapons you can use. You can use a prototype Amber, you can use a Lost Prayer, or you could technically even use Yai Miko's weapon. Once again, keep in mind, those weapons right now are only there for stat sticks, so crit rate, crit damage, and HP basically. You could also use a Withith, which is the weapon that I'm using right now, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I might switch it later on, we will see. It is up to you, it is up to what you have, the takeaway here is that honestly speaking, most of the catalysts in the game right now suck when it comes to Novelette, and I guess the easiest weapon to get that is somewhat good is the Refinement 1 Battle Pass weapon. So yeah, Mihoyo, we need more HP based catalysts for HP based DPS characters. Pretty please. Next up, we have his team composition. As usual, I don't want to name specific characters, because if you don't have those characters, then what does it help? What we are going to talk about instead is the way you should build your team. Novelette is all about using elemental reactions, so what do we need? Characters that trigger those elemental reactions. The first one, which is my favorite, is an electro character. In my case it's Fischl, but you can also use any other character as well. After that, as always, we want to use an animal character. Swirling Hydro does count as a reaction itself, so use whatever animal character you have. 
Obviously, it should be a support character or an off field DPS character, and characters that come to mind in that case are Sucrose or Lynette. You have all gotten Lynette for free during the launch of 4.0, so if you have her, use her. Not to mention that if you use a very decent vanilla set, you will also increase the damage your opponents take from whatever element was infused in the swirl, and in our case it should hopefully be Hydro. And lastly, we need one more reaction. For that one, we can use a Pyro character, or my favorite, a Cryo character. Why Cryo? Well, Hydro plus Cryo is freeze, so your opponents can't interrupt you because they themselves are interrupted. You can use Diona for example, she provides shields as well, you can use a Rosaria or a Shenhe, basically whoever you have. And of course, keep in mind, if you have Constellation 1, you will only need two characters for reactions because you already get one buff for free, so that opens up a slot and you can fill that slot in whatever way possible. So yeah, Novelette is an incredible character, he is an amazing DPS addition to the game and I am sure that a lot of people will be happy with him. He adds a refreshing playstyle to the game because let's be honest, using his charge attack is a lot of fun. If this guide was helpful, leave a like, a comment and all of that stuff. Other than that, as usual, have a great day or night wherever you live and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.